it's Mika. Long time no see. I took a couple weeks off because I went to go see my family and my best friends in Georgia. And then I've been back for a week, but I haven't recorded until right now because I kind of have been hyper fixating on OnlyFans. Link to that below if you're interested in that at all. And I cannot focus on more than one thing at once. So now we're back to this. <laughs> <laughs> so today I have a new challenge for you. Well, not new. New to me. I actually got it from the wonderful, amazing, perfect Luna. Link here and down below. Go check her out. She is awesome. This is the every room is a different size challenge. And how it works is you use a random number generator. I'm going to use just the one on Google. And you get a random blank by blank number for each room. And so you could get a bathroom that's 10 by 10, or you could get a living room that's one by one, and you just don't know, and you have to roll with it. I think this challenge seems super fun when I watched Luna do it, so I really wanted to try it. And that's what we're going to do today. I don't even have my phone. Here it is. Okay, so I'm doing 1 to 10 for my numbers. I think anything bigger than that, and we're just going to maybe fill up the lot too quick. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll get all ones by ones and be that unlucky. But what we're going to do is we're going to roll for the entryway. Okay, one. Great start so far. One by... Two. One by two. Okay. So I guess we'll make it somewhere around right here. Two and one. Oh dear, that's not very big, is it? Shit. Okay, okay, let's just, let's try to make the best of it. Find a really cute one square front door. What kind of style of house am I going for? I think maybe modern would be the only thing that would make sense because we're going to have some weird ass rooms. We'll do a glass door for the entryway because glass is modern, right? And I think it would be a little too closed off to have another door go into anywhere else in the house. So I think we're going to do an archway. Now the question is, where do I want my other rooms to be? Do I want rooms on the other side of this, or do I want this to just be a little sticky out thingy? I think it would probably be smarter if I would just go ahead and put doors on these sides. I think that's probably the smartest idea. And that doesn't leave much room to put much of anything in this little entryway, but it's fine. You know, I was gonna say we should go with white walls because they're modern, but honestly, I'm kind of feeling black walls. Is there a black wall option? I feel like that would be really fun for the entryway, just trip you out right as soon as you get in the house. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. That looks dope, I like that, okay. Now flooring. Maybe white flooring would look nice. Maybe a shiny flo gray flooring. I kind of like that. No, I don't like it when I turn off the grid. Never mind. Why do I hate all of these floors? Oh, white marble. There we go. Why do I still kind of hate it? Now that's a choice. It could be a little bit of classic in our modern. A little bit of ugly in our cute. You know what? I like it enough to just go with it. Okay, now what else can we put in this entryway? Some art on the walls, I think, definitely would be good. Because we're not going to have much room for stuff on the floor. <laughs> this looks pretty modern. It could also add a pop of color. Let's have two of them. And then maybe we can have a shoe rack? Can we fit in a shoe rack? Maybe if we're really careful. Yeah, I think we can get around that. Lights. We need some lights in here. Oh, that's modern as heck. Okay, I think that's 
definitely good enough for the entryway. Okay. I think next we're going to go to the living room. I'm thinking we're going to put it off to the side over here, but it's really going to depend on what size it is and what I think after I roll this number. So let's see what we roll. Okay, the living room is going to be a seven by three. Okay, well, let's see what that's going to look like. Seven. Oh, I feel like this is going to be worse than I thought it was going to be now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Okay, so we got a very long living room. I really wanted to also kind of play with platforms in this video, so maybe we'll kind of make this a cool sunken living room. Should we sink it more? Is that good? Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. Let's get some stairs in this bitch. Modern stairs. I keep forgetting that I'm going for modern. And modern to me just means black, apparently. <laughs> well... We'll just go with that. We'll just go with that. That's fine. That's perfectly adequate. Why isn't there a black version for the banister? You're ruining my aesthetic. That doesn't look modern at all. What about this glass one? This glass one looks super modern. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, why isn't there one there? Oh, that's irritating. Oh, I might have to move this over just to avoid that bullshit. Yeah, we're going to have to. That's going to have to be it. That's going to have to be the move. Um, excuse me. Are there not walls? <laughs> Where did the walls go? What the bully bunchkins? I would like walls, please. Let's... Figure out the light situation first so we can see. Oh, these are modern. Maybe I'll use these. We could make them teal and tie it into the pops of color in the entryway. I'm a genius. No, let's turn you around. Symmetry is modern and also makes my OCD very happy. <laughs> I think we should go for the opposite of in the entryway. I think we should go for white walls and black floors because the black will match the stairway and opposites are modern. <laughs> All right, white walls. I know it's Victorian, which isn't very modern, but it kind of slaps. I'm using it. All right. Furniture. What do we need in a living room? I kind of want to just make this like a cozy cos cos with like all the couches. See, like this one's tall and we could make like a padded room effect here, which is honestly kind of my dream living room. I find padded rooms very comforting. Do with that information what you will. Yeah, I'm into that. I'm really into that. Oh no, we're almost out of money. Hold on, hold on, we gotta fix that. How long was I typing that? How much money do I have? Oh shit, go me. Okay, back to modern. Okay, what I really want is like some cushions to put in the middle. Oh, there we go. Where's the teal? Yeah. Oh, and, and the orange. Okay, really bringing in the pops of color from the entryway. Loving this. Okay. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Let's turn the one in the middle. Ah, satisfying. I don't know if that's functional. I don't care. I think maybe we should put something in this corner. Maybe a plant. A modern plant. That's modern. That's what we need. Okay, I think the living room's done. Okay, I think next we are going to do the kitchen, which is going to be over here, theoretically. 
Okay, let's see what we're going to work with for the kitchen. And go. Two. Okay, two by three. Two by three. Okay, this is going to have to be a very functional kitchen. One, two, three by two. Oh, it's so small. Oh, no. Okay. Let's get some lights in there. Oh, God, it's so tiny. I'm so scared to get started on furnishing this. That's pretty modern. Okay, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's put the refrigerator here. And... Yeah, bro, literally, if we put anything on the other side, it's just not going to be functional, is it? Maybe if we turn the room, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we turn it this way, could we put a counter? No, fuck. Yeah, we could do that. No, refrigerator here. I'm really trying to give these people something, but I really think that this might be the best I can do. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's put the stove there. Oh, man. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, boy. Okay. What color floor should we put in here? Let's do white floor in here since we did black floor in the living room. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. Which means what? Black walls. Or, or we could do teal walls to bring that color in here. Mmm. No, no, no. Backsplash. We can make that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking now. Okay, there's a thought. There's a thought. Okay. I might hate it, but I might not. I hate it. I'm leaving it. Let's try to put some art on the walls to make it better. A bubble wall. Oh, a bubble wall. How can I say no to a bubble wall in my house? You're going right there. Does it look dumb? Yes. Do I care? No, of course not. I have a bubble wall. What else can we put in here? Maybe a plant? I swear I'm sounding like Vixella. Let's put a plant everywhere I don't know where to put anything. Sometimes it'd be like that. Oh, we probably should put a fire extinguisher in here, shouldn't we? Excuse me? Where did the fire extinguishers go? Is that not an option anymore? What the fuck, EA? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Give me a second. Okay, we need something for this corner here. I think maybe some shelves would be good since we have, like, no storage in this kitchen at all. Let's put them here. And then we could put something else over there. Maybe, like, some sort of kitchen cart or something. I don't know if that exists. Or, or, or a trash can. Now we're thinking. <laughs> okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. We can have one for trash and one for recycling. Eh, eh, can you still get to the stove? I don't know. And then, and then, and then, and then, trash, modern, also means modern values, like, Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, let's roll for the next room. Let's make it a dining room. Okay, we're rolling for the dining room. Wish me luck. Three, two, one. Ten! Okay, ten by what? Ten by five. The dining room is ten by five. Okay. I did. Oh, 
god. Oh god. Okay. Um Okay. I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a half wall type thing here to try to continue this hallway, but we're going to leave it open. Okay, let's get some lights in here. What modern chandelier can we put over the dining room table? That looks pretty modern. Teal, we can bring that in. Yes, okay. The dining room table is going to be over here. It's going to be a pretty big one. I'm thinking about making that sunken too. I feel like that might be fun. Maybe we can make that the dining room and we can make this sort of like a play area for the kids and we can make that sunken maybe. I definitely played in my grandparents' dining room as a kid. Yeah, that'd be cute. Oh my god, I just had the best idea. I can make this like the kids' area, like the kids' table, and I can use the little ones we're using on the floor. And oh, that'll be so cute! I want to continue this in the hallway. And I think black marble would be nice. Fancy, fancy, modern. I kind of want to put carpet in the kids' table area, but they're messy, so I don't know if that's practical. This is Sims. Why do I care? I don't. That's cute. Okay. The kids deserve their own fancy lighting, but I know exactly what I'm going to put in the kids' area. And I know what color it's going to be. Blue cloud. If I could build my dream house, that cloud light would be in every single room. I'm not even joking. A little bit. Okay, fancy modern tables. I might be able to put some of these to together. Two of those, maybe? Yeah, that works. That's pretty modern. There we go. There's the cute floor one. Should we make it white too or should we make it more colorful? Is there even a colorful option? Yeah, let's do it opposite. Let's make it black. Oh, you're not in the middle anymore. That's a problem. There we go. Much better. Where are those chairs I like that go really well with the glass tables? Is it these? Hmm. Blue could bring in some color. Yeah, let's go with blue. Get in your place. Okay. Oh, I didn't paint the walls. Okay, hear me out. This might look absolutely awful. But what could happen is we paint all of this white, and then the kids' wall, we paint black. I'm fine with it. I accept it. I accept this color scheme as my lord and savior. Okay, we need some wall decorations for sure. That could be fun. Oh, I kind of, yes, I kind of like that. Yeah, that's fun. What can we put on this wall now? We could do another feature wall. Eh, eh. How about... A clock. We could put a few of these clocks. So it's like the wall where you're tracking times in a bunch of different countries. Is there any wall thing we could put to indicate that? No, there isn't. It's implied. Now the kids area. I'm thinking bunnies. I'm thinking jumping bunnies is what I'm thinking. How about y'all? Jumping bunnies all the way around. Oh, yes! Yes, this makes me so happy. Oh, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, let's put a play in here and call it a day. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to leave the hallway open because I know that in my house, the hallway was where you always put pictures of your family. 
So I'm going to leave that hallway wall open for pictures of whoever the fuck lives here. I don't know who would want to live here, but someone will. Okay, I think we're going to put the bedroom over here. And then we're going to put a bathroom right here. So let's roll for the bathroom, I guess. Let's try the bathroom first. Okay, one, two, three, ten. Again, ten, okay. Ten by nine. Ten by nine. Guess this is going to be a luxurious ass bathroom, isn't it? Oh boy. Eight, nine. Oh god, that's such a big room. It's the biggest room so far. I don't even know what to do with this. Okay, I think a good idea would be to turn part of this into like a wardrobe. So maybe this right here will be like a wardrobe dressing area. And then we could have a nice jacuzzi corner tub. Taking the teal, taking the teal. We could have a shower though, obviously. We have an, more than enough room for a standalone shower. You're kind of teal. Let's put you there-ish. And we can have so much counter space in here. This is probably a little excessive. It's a little excessive, right? Oh, who am I kidding? I don't care. We can have different sections of the counter space for his and hers. Obviously, we got to have those giant ass mirrors all the way across. I think we need a fucking runner in this bathroom. Maybe we should do the floor and walls first. I'm thinking marble in the bathroom as well. Yeah, and then I think we'll have carpet in the dressing room. Let's try that. Maybe it'll look better once we put lights on. So I think we're definitely going to do tile walls in the bathroom as well. Probably match them to the kitchen. Does that look atrocious? That probably looks atrocious. Let's see. I kind of want to put mirrors all around the wardrobe as well. So the color won't matter as much. Maybe a light blue. Because I kind of want it to be a more fun space, you know, and more color. We need a bang in light for our wardrobe. The lighting in there has to be bomb. Runway. That sounds promising. Okay, I'm kind of digging that. Let's work on the wardrobe for a minute, because I want mirrors in here. I want a wall of mirrors. We'll put the door here. Try to line it up with that door. And all around here will be dressers. Ooh, a platform. That's what you need, bro. Dream. Dream! Is that centered? I'm going to say it's centered or I'm not going to sleep tonight. Man, let's put some shoes over here. Some stuff hanging here. And I think an inspirational painting on that wall would be perfect. Give me fashion. Give me modern. I think that's pretty inspirational. That would make me want to look bomb in the morning. Yep, that room is done. Okay, back to the bathroom. These I definitely want over the mirrors. Oh, that's infuriating. Okay. Oh, I hate it all. I hate it all so much. Oh, it almost makes me want to just forget that whole idea. Oh, God, it hurts. Okay, I'm just, I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it. I'm just giving up and putting the saucer lights in. I can't see any lights that will look good in here, so we're just going with these. Beautiful, wonderful, perfect. 
fabulous, astronomically genius toothbrushes for both of you. Soap for both of you. This place is so big that you're each going to get your own laundry hamper. You are welcome. You each get your own towels. And neither of your colors match anywhere else in the house. Because you <clears throat> just don't give a fuck. Oh yeah, there's no matching hand towel to those towels. Because The Sims 4 hates me personally. Just get with white. You store your extra towels here, obviously. You know, sometimes I really wish we could change the fabric colors and the wood colors separately. I really, really do. But you can't, so we're just going to put two of these. And a cabinet. Okay, we definitely need bath mats. Perhaps not that color. Perhaps that's too much teal. Let's go with white bath mats. Let's go with the pink. It'll match the towels. And I kind of really want a fucking runner in here. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's cute. Ooh, it would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun if one of them was a different color. That'll tie in all the way back, if you remember, to that painting in the little entryway. That orange right there. This house is beautiful. Well, this room needs a plant, too, doesn't it? Oh, little kitty. Yeah, we got a little kitty. Little kitty, cutie, kitty, kitty. Oh, and a puppy. We got a puppy, too. We got a puppy over here. Because one, one of the couple likes a kitty, and one of them likes a puppy. Maybe they will eventually get a kitty and a puppy. But right now, they have their little succulents. <laughs> Isn't there, like, perfume? He likes perfume, too. Nail polish. He's into nail polish, so he has a couple of sets of it. She's not really into nail polish, so she doesn't have any. She also has some cologne, because she really likes the smell of men's cologne. He fucking hates it, so he doesn't have any cologne. There's cookies in the bathroom because this bathroom is a fucking five star experience two jars of cookies and some books in case you want to read okay i'm gonna call that done i think it's good okay the last room is gonna be the bedroom so let's see how much we're gonna suffer okay here we go it's gonna be a Two, five, seven. We're gonna try. Oh God, I don't even wanna draw it out. Okay, oh fuck, okay. Well, there's no way a double bed is going in there. That's for sure. So my whole his and hers idea kind of went out the window unless one of them is sleeping on the mini couches in the padded room over there okay I like carpet and bedrooms and I feel like their bedroom is their oasis so they don't have to abide by the color scheme or the rules of the rest of the house and both of their favorite colors are purple so we're gonna use this carpet and neither of them believe that you can't have the same color walls as carpet and they're both very, very fun people. So we're going to have some flower walls. Maybe I can fit two twin beds in here? Maybe. Okay, there's one. And we can put one there. Maybe they're both just very wild sleepers and don't want to sleep together. So they came up with this solution where they can still be together at night and not disturb each other. It's a good thing they have this whole ass wardrobe over here because all that's going to fit in their room is their beds. <laughs> they want cloud lights. Each of them wants one. And because this is their fucking house, they each get one. Y'all, I literally just gave up and went to the kids room category because 
I think that I'm just actually building my dream room in this situation, and I'm five years old, so I just admitted it. Ladybugs! Bunnies! Dinosaurs! Oh, I would love to build just like a whole maze on my wall. I'm gonna do it. It's immensely frustrating that these things are so hard to connect. Like, why isn't there one that goes like this? Why? I don't understand. There's one that goes like this. There's this one. Why, why not the other direction? Why can't I turn it the other direction? <sighs> There's just little things about this game that just like get right under there. Get, they just burrow right into my veins and just itch under my skin. Like that, why? Why doesn't that connect to go up? Why isn't there just a normal one for up like there is for horizontal? Why am I so angry about this? This is the Nirvana. This is the Zen Garden. This goes to this. This is where you win. I give up. That doesn't even work. You know what? Fuck it. This goes to a fucking ball. That's a dead end. This is where you want to go. This bedroom, this bedroom... It's so done. It's so incredibly done. And with that, this house is done. This house is not really... Oh, why doesn't that have a roof? I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't have a roof. I don't know. I'm going to upload this house to the gallery. I don't know why anyone who is in the middle of a psychotic break would want it. But I'm going to upload it so you can fix the roof if that's something you want to do. I was planning on doing the outside and making it look cute because when Luna did this, hers ended up actually looking absolutely fantastic. Like, it was a legit beautiful house. And I just don't have it in me. So go subscribe to Luna. <laughs> Subscribe to me if you want mediocrity. Subscribe to Luna if you want actual good gameplay. But anyway, I am done with this house. I am done with this challenge. It could have been worse. It could have been much better. It is what it is. I love y'all. Bye, friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am back three days later because I actually did end up doing the outside of this house. I did that for a combination of reasons, mostly because it was embarrassing to myself and this entire community to just leave it like that, and partly because I have a huge exam this weekend that I am procrastinating studying for. So here we are with the outside of the house. I made it modern to go with the inside, but it's not really modern style, it's just what my brain thought was modern. I put a little skylight over the bed since that was like my dream room apparently is, if I remember correctly, what I was going for there. And there aren't a lot of windows because I just thought it looked cool, to be honest. I usually put windows everywhere and I thought it just looked cool on this house with the weird rooms and the weird colors and everything to just have minimal windows. Obviously it made the roof weird as fuck because why not YOLO? And I made the garden slash yard kind of overgrown and wild a little bit to contrast with the modernness of the house and all the clean lines and stuff. Put 
a little fire pit out here because I always like to put fire pits when I have the room and have an actual yard space because because I really do just be living my dream life through my Sims builds sometimes and I would love to have a fire pit. So yeah, that's the outside of the house. Just wanted to pop back in and let you know that I didn't leave that embarrassment as is. So it's a little better now. <laughs> love y'all. Bye.